Right, for my first tutorial, I'm going to show you how to explore space, use the FSS scanner, and how to map the surface of planets. All you need is a beautiful ship, for example, the Diamondback Explorer here, but any ship will do. All you need are two modules, which are the discovery scanner and the detailed surface scanner. We're now jumping into a system previously unknown to me. As always, we land at the most moss, at the biggest moss in the in the system, and we are going to fire up the scanner to see what's around. There are nine bodies around, but we cannot see them because we first have to discover them by using the FSS scanner. So you can see this is the FSS scanner. It says there are nine detected signals and we have identified one of nine bodies. You can see it on the upper right side there. So um, down there is the filtered spectral analysis and you can tune it. I highly recommend you use the mouse. Um, I use the mouse to point the scanner, the left click to zoom in, the right click to zoom out, and middle mouse click to uh, target the thing I've just scanned, just in case I want to map it. And I use the mouse wheel to change the frequency. I highly recommend you do you use the mouse everything else is not fun to use so so how to do this um you see those signals around uh, the scanner and those uh, flashes of light not the ones that move from top to the bottom but the one that stay uh, a little longer and those arrows point in this direction so let's try this one above me i need to scroll until I match the the signal like this and when I'm here now I can click and zoom in so there are two bodies one's down here and one is up there so if I'm not in tune I cannot uh, tune I cannot focus because the energy tuning failed I need to match the signature so there is nothing inside this highlighted area if I'm out of tune. And if I just tune a little closer, you see a small circle. This circle needs to be solid. If it's solid like this, just zoom in and voila, it's a water world. Beautiful. I target this one as I will most likely uh, map it. So the other one is right here. Is that a water world as well? Yes, that was very likely because it's about the same um, signal. So, and down here, let's tune to lower frequency. Here's something. I need to tune a little click, and it's a rocky ice world. Very nice. You also see the orbital plane. It orbits around something else, which is also a rocky ice world. Great, so zoom out and take the next one. An icy body. And now we have discovered six out of nine bodies. So let's look for the others. There's something. Again, tune to the correct frequency. Zoom in. It's a rocky ice world. Very nice. And here is another one. An icy body. And one more. There it is. Click. And that indicates we are done. That's pretty much all there is. So, okay, we are now in orbit around one of these beautiful water worlds, and I intend to uh, surface scan it. That's why my ship has a, a detailed surface scanner. I'm going to use it like this. I'm I got the FSD assist, it orbits automatically uh, around uh, any chosen object, 
if it's a planet and uh, that makes it a little easier so you don't have to pilot manually and so this is the planet I'm going to surface scan and you can see on the right side it says an efficiency target of six probes I am not very sure what that means well, if you use six probes or less, I suppose you get more money for the discovery. So, yeah. Once again, I'm aiming with the mouse and I got the right mouse button to send the probe. The first one I will send right in the middle here. There it goes. It already impacted and this is the area it's scanning. 25%. Okay, so if you're skilled, you can send it just around uh, the planet. You just shoot the uh, the probe here. If it says miss, don't shoot because it will go the, uh, into space and never return. But if you just want to, you can experiment with that. It's quite fun. So let's fire one here and see where it impacts. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. So two probes and already at 47%. You can see that on the lower left. And we sent this one up here. It's very nice and relaxing to watch. Surface scanned by 50%. Thanks for the update, Kovas. So if you're not in a hurry, just enjoy the view. A while until the next portion of the planet that's not yet probed is on, on your side so if you are just fire all your probes map it as fast as you can Okay, and that should be the last portion of the planet to scan. Let's wait a second and fire it. Yeah, fire it. That should do it. Scan That's it map this water world now and uh, there will be my name on it if i manage to return with the data to um to the next station and sell it uh, yes you have infinite probes so don't worry if you can't make it within five or six tries just try and shoot as many probes as you want it doesn't really matter. Maybe the payout of credits will be a little less if you use more probes uh, than was suggested in the efficiency target. But hey, that doesn't really matter. And now I have found a system with 42 objects. So I refueled already and got a little away from that particular sun. And now I'm going to show you how fast you can do this uh, with the mouse. Get the first gas giant. metal oh there's a lot here icy body another one you don't really need to wait until actually this place uh, the planet just zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out that'll be sufficient All right there's more Okay, those are probably asteroid fields. No? Okay, good. Click, 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 click. Do 
lots of objects means lots of money when you sell the data but also the um, less common objects obviously uh, get a higher reward the data about them gives a higher payout yeah, that's what I'm trying to say So those are belt clusters. You discover one, you discover the others in that particular system as well. Because there would be seven of them and that would be very painful to scan them down. Right. Now only this type of planet is still undiscovered. Those are icy bodies and icy, uh, well, rock planets whatever those are least interesting and don't give much credits but since we're here already scan them anyway write your name in the universe you know. and i did struggle a lot that's why i decided to uh, do this tutorial after a couple of hours and honestly it's just painful doing this any other way than with the mouse and the uh, scrolling wheel everything else is and we're done great everything else what i'm trying to say is um very painful indeed because you have to uh, really find uh, the object and aim directly at it. If you're doing that with a thumbstick, it, it gets frustrating fast. I'm going to show you my mappings for the, uh, for the mouse if you're interested. And that'll be it for today. Thanks for watching.